happy Tuesday, everyone. This is Bryn, and this is my Daily Joe. This is going to be a drive-by Daily Joe. I'm going to talk about marketing. Readers, if you're not an author, don't worry. This is for you, too. So I'm going to try to bullet point through a bunch of this to make it easier. And if you're reading this and not listening, and you just want my daily update, scroll down to July 23rd, 2019. So, marketing. As a rule, we authors like to reach our readers through Facebook. And that is both a good and a bad plan. The good thing is, Facebook is where there are a lot of readers. I can't speak for other writers, but I really enjoy interacting with readers. In fact, some, quite a few actually, I consider to be friends at this point. We don't talk about books. We talk about life. And I like that. But if we, writers, don't talk about books, then nobody knows they're around. And Facebook hates when we talk about our book releases. Frankly, I kind of think Facebook hates small businesses, but that is another story. And this is not a rant, I promise. So here are the problems. Number one, Facebook says authors, or small businesses, cannot share their product on their timelines. You may notice that it's very rare for me to share my own books on my personal timeline. Instead, they're always in groups or on my business page. As of August 1st, many words we use will also cause posts to be hidden or deleted. That's the number two problem. Number three, Facebook suppresses business page posts and to a similar part, group posts. You can even be put in a version of the infamous Facebook jail and not even know it. Why am I telling you this? Well, for my loyal readers, so you know how to get information about book releases and understand why you may not be seeing posts about them or why your own posts may be suppressed and you don't even know it. For other authors, so I can give you some insight on how to reach people. First things first. I have close to 1,300 people who have liked or followed my business page. That's great, right? Well, on average, 30 to 50 people see what I post on my page. Let me repeat that. 30 to 50 people out of 1,300. I'm going to do the math for you. And also, thank you, Google, because, hey, I was up until 1 a.m. writing, and Math and I are not friends today. So I have 1,300 people on my page, like I said, and 30 people see a post that I've made. That's about 2% of my followers, 2%. And that's on a good day. This is why I often post the same thing on my business page as on my group, Bryn's Place. So let's talk about Bryn's Place for just a second. I have 139 people on my group, and I post a lot of fun stuff there. That's where I interact the most. On average, 40 to 70 people see each of those posts. Interestingly, if it's a post with a link in it, say for like a book or for a blog post, then that number drops down to about 30 people. Math. Let's do the math. That means 21% of people see book or blog posts. 32 to 50% of people see my other posts. Now, there's a lot of stuff on Facebook. I can understand that not everybody is going to see everything. I have a point to all this. If you made it this far, thank you. So readers, number one, I love you. I really do. If you want to know what's going on with me, the easiest way is through my blog or through my website. You can even subscribe to the blog so that it's mailed right to you. Speaking of email, I have a newsletter, but it's not as frequent as the blog. If you want to interact with me, of course you can post a comment on my blog. I would love that. You can follow me on other social medias. For the record, MeWe, a new social media, doesn't suppress posts. And I have a profile there and I have a group there. And I post there every single day. Plus, the groups have a public chat option. That's a lot of fun. 
And if you're wondering where to find me outside of Facebook, there's a button bar across the top of my website and that will take you to all of my different pages and the places where I post regularly. Or you can join my Facebook group, Bryn's Place. I'm there a lot. Authors. I have a lot less for you. One, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You can't rely on one place or one way to reach people. You certainly can't count on your business page. Keep that in mind. Look at the numbers that I have cited above and think about your action plan. You have to have an action plan. So that's enough of that. And I guess uh, that wasn't as much of a drive-by post as I thought it was going to be. But I hope that you found it helpful. So today, July 23rd, 2019. Guys, I have like two or three pages to write and I am going to be finished with my current book. I'm so excited about that. That's got top billing on my schedule today. And after that, I'm going to head out to my sunny, beautiful deck and work on plotting. I've pushed pretty hard on this project. So uh, I pushed pretty hard on this project even through the weekend. So I'm looking at a more laid back writing day today, which means I'll be doing several freelance jobs, LOL, because no rest for the wicked or for me either. I'm actually pretty nice, just so you know. Now don't forget, Billionaire's Christmas Cruise releases in six days, and you can pre-order it ahead of time if you feel so inclined. Dakota and I would love it if you would. For a full look at my upcoming books and pre-orders, you can go to my Coming Attractions blog from yesterday. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Signing off, Bren. Thank you.